just received the Auto G from Hobby King and this is what the package uh, includes main structure with the mass. This particular version has got a uh, pre-rotator uh, we'll look into that a little closer as we uh, move on through this video uh, this looks like a tail tail wheel and maybe some uh, glue for the foam parts screwdriver some nuts and uh, bolts I think and a couple clips here we have a molded uh, foam uh, nose cover or nose guard I ordered a battery so this does not come with a kit I had to order that separate comes with a propeller this is a three bladed propeller I don't know how this uh, compares to the original Auto G since I never bought the uh, original one but I think it's uh, very similar in size and also in the uh, components we got the three bladed propeller we got the landing gear actually this is a it's a nice landing gear but uh, just from the looks of it I'm afraid that this is going to be a little too soft for the particular model for the size just my experience with these things because I make landing gears myself for as upgrades for other products very uh, very compact uh, instructional manual or user's manual looks like there's about uh, maybe uh, four pages here tail fins horizontal stabilizer and the blades these blades also look like the same ones that they use on the uh, original Auto G they're foam with a plastic uh, leading edge molded leading edge they're very nice blades foamy uh, molded uh, blades but I'm afraid that this is not going to hold these parts right here and I think this is the weak link this was the weak link on the original uh, Auto G the, these, the, the, these blades that the, this part right here and also the uh, the rotor head which is uh, looks like a very uh, very simple but uh, functional uh, rotor head or rotor plate and it's got some flex to it so this is pretty much what the kit looks like As many of the videos on YouTube already show this is the weak link in, uh, in, in these particular uh, kits uh, moving on to the model itself let's pull this out okay it's got a wooden uh, mast structure that supports uh, two servos for the uh, left and right this would be a, sort of like an uh, aileron control it also has a um, pre-rotator here looks like a gearbox with a one-way bearing sandwich in between this gearbox and then it's got a DC motor at the rear I'm assuming there's a set of gears in this gearbox to drive this one-way bearing and flex shaft tell there's a little bit of friction but just by feeling this turning the, the shaft and we'll just have to see how that uh, plays out when the uh, model is in flight the front end has a, a large motor this looks like uh, the typical blue Hobby King uh, brushless motors for part flyers but it's a, a little bit larger it's a little bit larger because this model is uh, it's not that small uh, this distance from end to end of the body is about um, I would say it's about 13 maybe 14 14 inches long and there's another 14 inch in uh, in boom area here 
Um, the servos, they seem to be uh, your standard uh, uh, standard servo, uh, 9 grand servo. I don't know what brand they are, they are not marked, but they look beefy. So I don't think uh, the servos will have any issue uh, with the uh, forces that they need to uh, deal with when uh, controlling the, uh, the model. It's a very nice uh, cover here. It's got a tab. There's a hinge and two magnets to uh, lock it in place. Uh, and basically what you have here is all the connections that are loose from the servos as well as the uh, two speed controllers, one for the DC motor that drives the uh, pre-rotator and the other ESC that drives the brushless motor, main propeller. So basically that's it. All you need to do is install a re receiver and, uh, and the battery. The battery that I got is a 1300 milliamp hour battery which uh, fits nice and snug inside the model. It's one of the recommended ones. This model is very very compact. All the parts are in there and unfortunately if you want to maintain this model or repair something if the motor goes bad for example the uh, pre-rotator motor or one of the servos that's embedded inside the body to control the tail surfaces you're going to have to disassemble this and you're going to have to part this in the middle with a, with a knife or we'll have to glue that again but hopefully these parts will uh, will last a good while that uh, that's not required so that's uh, a look under the hatch bottom of the model is uh, also has a small hatch I guess that's to access the two servos that control the tail surfaces this is an aileron elevator and rudder type of control so it makes it very easy to to fly this model uh, as opposed to a, a true DC type direct control type of uh, auto gyro with a, a motor at the rear those are those are pushers. This is a puller or tractor type and this with this particular control configuration left to right only this is not a, a universal joint here this is a fixed left and right um, left and right control with no pitch there's no pitch for, uh, to, to that control and so the pitching is done via the uh, tail surface via the elevator and uh, banking of course is assisted also by the rudder so this is almost like a, a regular um, regular park flyer with uh, ailerons elevator and rudder and i think the uh, intention with this model was to aim this at, at somebody that already has some rc hands-on experience with park flyers uh, basically that covers this uh, uh, short review